I'm Suzanne Stevens of the Mecklenburgers. Tonight's show features the Mecklenburgers in a reality TV format called Astonishing Race. Six members of the cast and crew find themselves racing around Mecklenburg County to win the coveted Mecklenburger Cup. <sighs> this particular episode features two celebrities in significant roles. We have race driver Carrie Earnhardt. Now, he's the wheelman for Amy and Emma while local sports personality Jim Zoki provides his expert play-by-play -play for this frantic race against time and a test of knowledge about Mecklenburg County capital investments. Of course, stay tuned after the show for some factoids that you can use to amaze your friends and family. So buckle up for the astonishing race on the Mecklenburgers. Okay, everyone, we're live in three, two, one. Run graphic and music. And you announcer. I'm Jim Zoki, and welcome to The Astonishing Race, the only reality show based right here in Mecklenburg County. Tonight's Astonishing Racers are the people who bring you the Telly Award-winning show, The Mecklenburgers. They'll be competing for this, The Mecklenburger Cup. The winner will be the first team to race around an assortment of publicly funded capital projects in Mecklenburg County. Let's meet our teams. Team number one, they're young but feisty. Amy and Emma, who play Kristen and Emma Mecklenburger. Emma enjoys trapping people in their chair with duct tape, and Amy likes to watch. Team number two, TV station owner Brady Lewis and his station manager's son, Dennis. Brady is a tough-as-nails executive, while Dennis, who studied lactating in college, is obviously not. Finally, team three pairs the fictional Mecklenburger's husband and wife, played by Mick and Jennifer. Diva Jennifer is a former swimsuit model who now acquires expensive French things. Mick is an ex-detention officer who once got arrested in France. The Astonishing Race will begin in just one minute. You said right just a minute ago. Which is it? Okay, I guess it's right. Turn right. Wait, you just missed the turn, you knucklehead. I missed the turn. Yes, you did. As Jennifer and Mick struggle with technology, Brady and Dennis have made it to the first checkpoint, Grayson Skate Park. We got it all backwards. Huh? Oh. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Before the midgets get here. Well, I think I'd be a lot more comfortable with the mind challenge. Yeah, well, I've seen your IQ results, boys. Now get out of the <laughs> Anne, are you getting this? <laughs> Get Brady's reaction. <laughs> I think I found the clue. Got it, Anne. Do you want me to follow Dennis and Brady to the next checkpoint? No, stay with the girls when they get there. Let's see what they do. This is amazing. Don't you mean astonishing? <laughs> no, adequate. The adequate race. <laughs> Ronnie, cute, Jim. Every second counts in the astonishing race. Dennis and Brady have completed their first checkpoint challenge. Let's see how Amy and Emma handle their turn. But we're smarter than Dennis or Brady. Okay, let's go with the mind challenge. Solid. Grayson Skate Park is one of the newest bond funded park facilities. It has 13,000 square feet of dips, turns, and six farms. Find out how many acres of publicly funded park land there are in Mecklenburg County. I only know first grade math. I've got an idea. Back to the car. Okay, Ronnie, follow them to the car. So, what is a bond? Not now, Jack. I'm pretty busy. For the uninitiated viewer, a bond is a written promise to pay back money borrowed. Selling bonds are one way the county borrows money to build or renovate parks, libraries, schools, and other government facilities. Shazam! He is good! 
Jim, give us the other ways to borrow. Some facilities are financed by certificates of participation, called COPS for short. There's also lease purchasing. It's all just different ways to borrow money. <laughs> okay, now you're scaring me, girl. It's all just part of the preparation. <laughs> Ronnie, I'm coming back to you and the girl. Where to, ladies? Anne, did you know that Amy and Anna have a driver? Isn't that against the Astonishing Race rules? They're nine and seven years old, Ronnie. They don't have driver's licenses. But I didn't know they'd get Carrie Earnhardt. Just drive. I'll tell you when to turn. You're the boss. We need to log on to www.charmec.org to find about find out about county parks. Or you can go straight to parkandrec.com. Yeah, that's right. It is. Told ya, smarty pants. Where to, miss? Hold your horsepower, dude. Says, he says here the Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation Department has 210 parks and facilities on more than 16,500 acres throughout the county. That's it, 16,500 acres. Whoa, girl. There's a link for Greenways. What did it say? Greenway trails provide rec recreation, transportation, fitness, and economic benefits for all to enjoy. There are 22 miles of developed and 158 miles of undeveloped greenways in Mecklenburg County. What's all that mean? It means we need to know how many acres are in a mile. It's safe to say that greenways have 12.6 acres per mile. That's 277.2 acres for 22 miles of developed greenways. He's a genius. Add that to 16,500 acres, park acres, and we get 16,777.2 acres. Uh, right? Right. Sometimes you're scary. With Emma correctly answering the mind challenge, with help from Carrie Earnhardt, they get the next clue, but they quickly find out. We're going the wrong way! Stop! 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 What's the next clue? Come on, boy. We're in a race here. Oh, get to it. Oh, ah, here it is. <laughs> I was sitting on it. It's some sort of mysterious code. Uh, 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 okay, uh, here. Uh, Philip O'Berry Academy in Charlotte. Drive there and look for the next challenge sign. Philip O'Berry Academy. Where's that? Uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, Philip O'Berry Academy. O'Berry. Oh, Barry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, boy. Would your mother be proud of you now? Philip O'Berry Academy, 1430 Allegheny Street in Charlotte. Oh, look, there's a map right here on the CMS website. This is going to be easy. Nothing's easy for you, boy. With Dennis and Brady still in first place, heading for the next checkpoint, Jennifer and Mick are still on the first challenge. <laughs> I'm not going to put on that helmet and skate. It won't fit. Well, take off your wig. Whoops. Can you edit that out? <laughs> uh, let's check in on a little less narcissistic couple. I am too, smart one. No way. Who figured out that clue? That was just a lucky guess. Was not. Was too. Okay. So how about the team in the lead? I did say left. No, I said left. You said right. 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 Uh, no, I mean, I said right, but I meant left. You said left and meant right. You want to drive? You know I get car sick when I drive. Then which way do I turn? Left? Right. Ah, yes! I'm in yes! Ah, mommy! Get moving in a healthy direction for 2006. Tone up. Slim down. Get in shape. Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation runs eight fitness centers with cardiovascular workout equipment, exercise machines, and free weights. Many centers offer aerobics, yoga classes, and personal training. These centers charge for use, but generally much less than a private health club or gymnasium. Park and Rec Fitness Centers at the Mecklenburg County Aquatic Center, Ray's Flash Planet, Betty Ray Thomas Recreation Center, First Ward Recreation Center, Tuckasegee Recreation Center, West Charlotte Recreation Center, Southview Recreation Center, and Mallard Creek Recreation Center. 
Check us out for good health. Learn more at our website, parkandrec.com. Park and Rec Fitness Centers, the healthy place to be. I'll take care of this. Don't go anywhere. There we are. All three teams are now on their way here. The Philip O'Berry Academy of Technology. This school, built with $50 million in bond funds, is a technology magnet school. $50 million? That's a huge chunk of change. And with interest rates being what they are... That's expensive. No joke. The county does set aside some money for pay-as-you-go to fund construction costs without borrowing, mm -hmm. but they can't sock away enough money each year to keep up with the demand for more schools, parks, and other stuff. Oh, so they borrow money to spread the cost out over time and avoid huge upfront costs. And the cost of paying back that principal and interest is called debt service. And with oh. so much growth, debt service is the fastest growing cost in the county budget. Mm. Ooh, look. Dennis and Brady are back at Barry Academy. <laughs> Coming to you, Jim. Arriving first at the Barry Academy is the father-son team of Brady and Dennis Lewis. Uh, uh, well, um, according to the map, it should be right here. Okay. Uh, it says right on the blackboard why the facility is unique. Blackboard. Teams must write the correct answer on this blackboard to advance to their next checkpoint. About it or something. Okay. Uh, unique. Unique. Well, it's a facility, an academy. Idiot. That's not it. What's it say? Why is this school unique? One of those two squirts up to anyway. Ah, they're stumped too. Yeah. To me, like they're just being sneaky. We can go to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools website, cms.k12.nc.us. Here it is. Speak to me, girlfriend. Okay, moving on. The Philip O. Berry Academy of Technology is the joint project between the schools and the public library. They combined the projects to save money on building a separate library. The school's media center is also a 20,000 square foot library open to the public. How do you make your foot square? Think, 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 I don't think. I got it. No, I don't. Think, 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 oh, think, think, oh, think, think, oh, think. And the Park and Recreation Department and schools do this too. They show ball fields in lots of places. Let's go. I want that trophy. Stand it out, Cody Pants. With her correct answer, Amy gets the next clue. Got it! Give me that! See, so it's finish on Goober! Yeah, I'll get even with you at contract renewal time, you Goober Cruncher! We're never gonna figure this out! We're gonna be stranded here forever, forever! Nick and Jennifer will probably catch up with us! Relax, Brando. Look at that blackboard. All we have to do is erase it, write it in again. Is that fair? Nobody told us how we had to figure it out. Well, once we know it, we can't unlearn it. That's <laughs> <one more. laughs> Justice is found at three of these four corners. Drive to the big house on the corner. Let's go! <laughs> Get it in! It's a big world out there, and for hundreds of children here in Mecklenburg County who are in foster care, this world has not been kind to them. We need foster and adoptive parents who are willing to open their hearts and homes to children who long for a safe, nurturing, and loving family. People should be foster parents because all children need a home. Call the Mecklenburg County Department of Social Services at 704-336-KIDS to find out more about fostering and adopting. Hi, my name is Diane Thomas. I work at the Mecklenburg County Health Department and I'm director of the Fit City Challenge Program. And my job is to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Part of living a healthy lifestyle is being physically active each and every day. And it's important to find the things that you enjoy doing. 
For example, going out to the park with your kids and throwing a frisbee or walking the dog or perhaps gardening. The important thing is to get moving. Just find things that you enjoy doing. Healthy eating is equally important to being physically active each and every day. It is essential to eat a well-balanced diet. And remember how mom used to say, eat your fruits and vegetables? Well, guess what? Mom was right. So what better job could anyone have than to help motivate others to live a healthier lifestyle? So take the Fit City Challenge today. Do you have any sense of where we're going? Of course. I have all five of my senses, just like everyone else. I have beauty, and fashion, and shopping, and talking, and humility. I'm famous for my humility. Instar, I need help. With Jennifer and Nick still navigating their way to the Barry Academy, Amy and Emma have moved into the lead and are now on their way to this location. This is the corner of McDowell and 4th Street in Charlotte, the center of justice. On one corner is the Mecklenburg County Jail that holds people awaiting trial. Across 4th Street is a new courthouse under construction, funded by a combination of bonds and cops. Just across McDowell Street, there's also a new public parking deck completed a few months ago. When the teams arrive here, they'll be faced with their final mind or muscle challenge. The mind challenge is to figure out how much these projects cost, how much was in bonds, and what impact this has on the current property tax rate. The muscle challenge is to repel from the top of the new courthouse. The mind challenge is safe, but might take longer. The muscle challenge is, well, really, it's just nuts. Did he say nuts? The beauty of live TV. <laughs> Speaking of nuts, let's go to Dennis and Brady. What's that clue again? I've read it to you four times. Do you have a memory problem? Yeah, you want me to forget to sign your paycheck, boy? It says drive to the big house on one of these corners. That means we're driving into the parking deck. How do you figure? Because it's the only way to drive. Well, doesn't big house mean jail? You know, like, no coppers gonna send me to the big house. Look, I'm driving to it my way. I thought we were a team. Yeah, we're a team. My team, my money, my way. Well, as long as it's fair. Amy and Emma are the first team to arrive and have found the challenge box. Will either of these two young children opt for the muscle challenge? Repelling? What is this, some kind of sick joke? Yeah, are you on medication? Uh, no. Let's go with the mind challenge. Once they've selected the challenge, they can't change. Will this choice jeopardize their lead? To the left, up. Meanwhile, things take a turn for the worse for Brady and Dennis. This isn't NASCAR, Dad. Can we go clockwise for a while? What are you, some kind of southern sissy? As Team 2, Brady and Dennis go round and round with the clue, Team 3 of Jennifer and Mick are closing in. There's the girls. It's Amy and Emma. Now, let me handle this, Jennifer. Hello, girls. How would you like to help your pretend dad find that challenge box, eh? I wouldn't even do it if you're my real dad. Or my stepdad. Or my uncle who sleeps over sometimes. Wait a minute! I see it! It's over there! Park the car, garçon. Let's get that challenge card. This isn't right. Hey, look on the corner. It's Mick and Jennifer. They found the challenge box. Don't you think an apology is in order? Absolutely. You're forgiven for getting us lost. Let's do the mind challenge on this one. I have this thing about heights. About heights? What thing? They're so high. <sighs> All right. Mind challenge it is. Press Instar. Instar? We don't need directions. We need hard statistics. Actually, I have the deluxe concierge version. It's called I'm a Star. I can get anything. Bonjour, mon Genevieve. Uh, bonjour, Henri. Henri. And you are looking particularly beautiful, Shelley. Uh, Henri, you're making me blush. <clears throat> Henri, I need a complete statistical breakdown on this address. The cost, the financing, the works. While Jennifer and Nick make the most of Jennifer's, um, connections, Amy and Emma are making progress as well. Okay, I'm on charmick.org. Look, here's the county's financial report online. It says the county's total debt service 
is 212.9 million. Is that more than a gazillion trillion? It also says the county is paying 1.7 billion worth of bonds right now. The interest cost alone these bonds is 72.3 million, but no details on the jail and courthouse. Yellow. Hey, yeah. So you're watching us right now? Hey, Harry, how you doing? Oh, man, that's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got it, man. Okay. Total cost of the three projects was $312.5 million, including $144.6 million for the jail and $143.5 million for the courthouse. All but $59 million was financed through bonds. Total debt service on these projects last year was $21.9 million, which amounts to about two and a half cents on the tax rate. That was the county finance director. He's a fan. With that settled, Amy and Emma now must race back to the TV station. Will they be the first to arrive and receive this coveted Mecklenburgers Cup? Or will it be one of the other two teams? Merci, Amy. You're a dear. The pleasure is mine, but the cup... A few moments, would you perhaps? Oh, Henri, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> now you're doing a fine job by yourself. I thought we parked on level two! You see our car here on level two? We won! We won! We won! Amy and Emma, you're the first team to cross the finish line in the astonishing race. We won! No, not yet. You still have one last question to answer. Quick, what's the question? Jennifer and Mick, congratulations. You're the second team to cross the finish line in the astonishing race. Now, if Amy and Emma cannot answer this question correctly, you will win this Mecklenburgers Cup. And what is it? It's this trophy right here. No, what is the question? <laughs> My bad. Okay, here's the question. What local TV show is supported by County Bond? I only want SpongeBob or Circle Pants. Uh, can you hurry up because I just had a very large glass of uh, orange mango and I really, really, really need to go. Do you know? Huh? huh? Do you know? No! I don't know! Okay then, you lose. It's the Mecklenburgers! No fair! That's right, the Mecklenburgers are right because Mecklenburg County owns the WTBI building and in 1987, Voters approved $3.1 in bonds for building renovation and expansion of WTBI. The county also borrowed $10 million to make WTBI comply with federal digital broadcast standards and to be able to broadcast in high-definition format. Congratulations, Jennifer and Mick. You have won the Mecklenburg Cup. Oh, yay! I need this. That is absolutely not fair. I didn't even get the answer. Amy and Emma, for coming in second place, you win an Ivy League scholarship to the school of your choice and a trip around the world. That uh, sounds fair. Uh, excuse me, Jim. Uh, he and I actually came in second place. Actually, did not. We did. Yeah, we did. That's it for now. This is Jim Zoki wishing you the best in your astonishing race, whatever that may be. And we're out. That was great. Thanks, Jim. So whatever happened to uh, Dennis and Brady? Dennis! Hi, I'm Suzanne Stevens of the Mecklenburgers. Did you know that 17% of your county property tax bill is used to build or renovate schools, parks, libraries, jails, and other government buildings? This cost is called debt service. Just like a mortgage, debt service includes both the principal and interest costs from borrowing. The county borrows money to spread the cost of building and renovation over time, usually 20 years. Fortunately, Mecklenburg County has a triple-A bond rating. This means the county and county taxpayers get the lowest interest rate possible at the time of borrowing. Triple-A bond ratings are the highest rating possible and indicate Mecklenburg County has a sound economy and excellent financial management. In fact, Mecklenburg is one of only 41 counties in the nation with this rating. This year, the county's debt service increased $23.8 million, a 13% increase from last year. Approximately half of this was for public schools.
This $23.8 million is nearly three cents on the property tax rate. Recently, the Board of County Commissioners started a pay-as-you-go capital fund to pay for some construction projects without borrowing money. This eliminates interest costs that contribute to debt service. If you want to learn more about the county's capital improvement program or about debt service and the impact on the property tax rate, go to www.sharmec.org and click on the county manager's office or call 704-336-2472.